Coach, where does that rank in terms of your comebacks? It was awesome. One of our sayings is there's no clock in baseball. Thank goodness, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, proud of our team. You know, um, hat, massive hat tip over there. The competitiveness, the culture, toughness of that team uh, in this program right now is really good. And they, they made us earn it tonight. Uh, it was a tough game. I mean, it was a tough game. And um, just proud of our team for sticking with them. Proud of guys like Ethan, uh, who should be a starter, you know. I view him as a starter. It's just it's hard to get everybody in there. He doesn't say anything. He just keeps coming to work, says, I trust you. And that's what happens. You know, they're ready when their number's called on. And we had a lot of that tonight. I think the depth of our team really shined tonight. Uh, we bent a little bit in the bullpen, but we didn't break. And so it kept the, the game uh, attainable in the ninth. And then, um, you know, Ethan and then uh, Paxton, you know, had a tough game and uh, was didn't affect him. And the best hitters, when they're 0 for 4, they want the fifth at bat. And that's what that looked like to me. So just super proud of all of them tonight. What changed offensively tonight, do you think? I don't know. I mean, I just I, maybe a little more concentration. But I, I, I don't want to take the credit away from their pitchers. Their pitchers did a really nice job tonight. And um, the game's hard. And uh, yeah, I just we just kept getting it to the next guy. Milam getting on base was huge. Um, now Jared just missed the ball right there. And then um, it was just a Mac, you know, drawing a two strike walk. And then the two pinch hit Ethan and the big hit and then uh, Paxton. And um, good thing we got the second hit. I might have uh, uh, arm wrestled Josh Jordan for not sending him there to tie the game. <laughs> he knows better, obviously. What made, I guess, what made their pitching so tough for the first? I, I'd have to watch, honestly. Um, I thought um, I thought we just got, a, got out of, uh, we just didn't seem comfortable. I mean, I, I'm going to have to watch it other than I just don't think we were very comfortable tonight. How about the start you got from Cave tonight? Wow, strikeouts. can't do much. 13 strikeouts. Um, he's a star. And um, it's just the poise, too. I mean, man, I'm grateful for a lot of things in my life. I'm really grateful he's at LSU, I can tell you that much. Are you somewhat surprised at the success he's had? No. He no, I, I'll just break it down this way. Had he not had Tommy John surgery, at the end of his junior year, he wouldn't be at LSU. He'd be in professional baseball. And, you know, uh, I believe everything happens for a reason. And um, it'll be good for him. And it's obviously great for us. Is part of what makes him so tough to hit is just the fact that when he's, when he's throwing that fastball, the hitters can't see the release point in the very yeah. last Yeah, it's, it, deception's a big part of pitching. I've, you know, you hear me talk about the importance of seeing the ball a lot as hitters and uh, pitching. If you have deception or you make it hard to see the ball, it helps your effectiveness. Wasn't that something you actually had in spades in high school too? Yeah, he's he's really polished, uh, polished guy. I mean, the, the day I got the job, Eric Borba, who's the head coach at Orange Lutheran in California, called me, and his son, who now plays at Texas, was on the same travel team as Cade, and he's like, "You need to get on the phone with this dude like yesterday." And so I, I was very familiar with who he was, and we did, and. Um, and then, like I said, we got lucky, you know, unfortunate for him, but obviously he's doing just fine. And uh, the good part about having that surgery behind you is, you know, for the most part, um, you can kind of be full speed ahead. And it happened at a time where we hadn't had to rush him back. And by not rushing him back, I think he's ready to pitch right now. So that's awesome. When you go back to Ethan's at bat right there, I and mean, you just mentioned it's a guy could like it could be a starter, should be a starter. His willingness and his ability to just be ready, uh, yeah, make it kind of look a little maybe easier than that. Yeah, he's a stud, and I mean every teammate would tell you he's one of their favorite guys on the team. They all know he's a good player, uh, really good hitter, improving as a defensive player, great athlete. I mean, this saw his speed getting to second base right there. We didn't pinch run for him obviously, and then um, it just, just the, the character makeup thing. Um, Awesome. You really went, went, went for it with the bullpen tonight, despite it being sort of a midweek game. What was sort of your thought process just to win the game? Well, they're like nine and four, and road wins count more. And so, I mean, no, the, the RPI doesn't know the difference between this and an SEC game. So we'll get a huge spike from winning this game tonight. What's what's different with this program from a year ago? Do you think? Like, what are some of, like, that makes them so much tougher than they were a year ago? Um, you know. I, I really respect Coach Reiser too. Like, I mean, he's a really good baseball coach, and he's a friend of mine. And they had a role on. I mean, there's regional appearances up on, on there. Um, but and they take a lot of pride in baseball. I mean, Jay is was a great coach, a great coach. And so you know, they wanted to 
do what they wanted to do and, and he probably had a really good reason for that and I just see and I've been a first year head coach three times over an eight year period and there's like an innocence in that first year like you can capture guys if you have the right attitude and the right plan and they clearly have that like they clearly have that I mean they're gonna they're gonna be a problem in the Southland for a lot of people what does this say about the team based on your final outs here environment to pull this out yeah it's good I, again I don't think we were very comfortable tonight like it was not you know <laughs> there's a lot I mean Cade picked us up obviously for five innings um, you know we're just we're just kind of in between on a lot of things and uh, that's not how we roll but they stuck with it um, you know I like the fact we're three and oh in one run games I think that that matters four and oh in games of two or less um, that's how you have. That's how you pile up really good seasons. And um, it's college baseball now. Post COVID, you know, there's 24 year olds all over the field. I mean, I got dudes on a scouting report from 2021 when I played them at Arizona that are still here. You know, um, so I mean, it's, and we benefited too. Hayden's here, Alex here, Mac Bingham's here. You know, so it's crazy. But you see a lot more of this. And as you look around the country, and the nature of baseball being different than football and basketball, these kind of games happen. Makes me wish I was a football coach sometimes. Do you think fatigue was a factor at all today? And they're a lot younger than me. Um, and I walked by the locker room yesterday still feeling a little tired. But they're laughing and smiling and the music's playing and bouncing around the field. And so I'd say no, but maybe. And um, I just, you get tested, you know, in baseball. And, and it was a test. And uh, I don't think we have a midweek road game the rest of the year, which Sign me up for that. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Coach. All right, awesome. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.